Okay. We're back at the creepy cave. Might as well check it out. Against my better judgment. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Oh. Okay. Well. Let's... Did I... Can I go back out? Oh, God. I don't know why I came in here. Something was wrong, Greg. Oh, good God. Oh, I felt like something was watching me. Oh, my God, there's eyes up there. <sighs> they took me out of my mind and put me in a place I could not remember. What did it mean, Gray? Hello, can I move, please? Oh. Why are you laughing? What are you going on about? Answer me! Okay, not going in the creepy tunnel again. Nope. That's not... I, uh... My brain can't handle this. I think this is Hamlet. I think it was the first house on the right, if I recall. Of course, now my mind is so all over the place that I could be wrong. <sighs> Does this say... So? Oh, Jesus, what? Hamlet. Okay. Game saved itself. It does not bode well. Is this the house? Is there a flower pot? Oh, there's a light inside. I don't see a flower pot. Oh, game, what are you doing? Freezing on me. Oh, there's a flower pot. Okay. I'm trying to pick things up. Everything's underneath something and something. Oh. I didn't even realize that was a piece of paper. Four pages. August 4th, 1935. Investigative journal. Brexton. Okay, that's the guy. Okay, anyways. That's the guy that lives here, right. This is an official investigation report compiled by Brexton over the period of the last 72 hours, ending with the conclusion and the definitive proof of murders and occult crimes by one Dr. Mendez, the local town physician. My name is Brexton. I am the senior administrator and overseer of the town of Hamlet, a fishing village on the southern... Uh, <laughs> Hamlet, a fishing village on the southern quadrant of Newport Island. Our local residents number 16 total. What? I'm getting a little further into the house. This is creeping me out. Uh, okay. Um, 16 total with five or so houses between us all. Certain facts exist. We are a small, shy village. Our local economies are solely fishing and trapping with the occasional revenue gained by our local physician charges. <gasps> Oh, sorry. Ooh. Right. And the cause of this investigation, our local women and children have begun to disappear over the last 72 hours in rapid succession. A complaint filed to the law offices of the colony and to Edgar Gray himself bore no fruit, so I have taken matters into my own hand and documented all evidence against Dr. Mendez within these and other hidden documentation hidden documentation suspicious suspicions were born against Mendez three days ago when I followed his hiking trail 
quietly from afar, he ventured deep into the abandoned ruins across the stream, wherein he began to chant and wave his arms to each of the stone pillars surrounded him. Surround him. It's hard to... It's so dark, it's, I'm not even sure I'm reading the words correctly. A... What the... A miasmal vapor erupted from the depths beneath the Stygian ruins, and in a moment Mendez was gone in a flash of light. I sat in disbelief for a few hours before his return guaranteed to me that I was indeed still quite sane. He strolled away from the ruins with a book in his arms, venturing not to his home, but instead to the ruined farmstead. <sighs> Oh, sorry. Which sat in the distance under the shade of a thin, waning moon and gnarled oak trees. Okay, wait a minute. A book in his arms. Ruined farmstead. In the distance under a gnarled oak trees. Okay. I did not trail him, but went home myself and began an evidence sheet. Alright. Next page. Okay, I'm going to sit forward a little bit more so that you... Ah, whoa. So reading's a bit easier. Okay, so I can actually see... Alright, there we go. The last of them were dragged up the cliff and trail through the cave, reaching Gulf, Gull Cliff by evening. I can't say I miss them or they're damn... Wait a minute. Overseer Gilman. Whoa, how did we get back to this? Did I just see something move? Wait a minute, go back to one. Two. Oh. What the hell? This is a four page document and suddenly I'm on page two of this log from the dock. The hunting platform in the foggy alcove is where I should go. Game? I swear to God, you're buggy as hell. Where did I pick that up? It was over here. That was a hammer. Where did the document come from? Right there? Is that where it came from? God damn it. Fucking game. There were four pages. Okay, when's my last save right outside okay okay so we came over here and went inside and then there was the reading that we did which was right here okay now if I push two damn it Alright. I'm going to stop recording for a minute. Well, I managed to get to page 3. I don't know what happened on page 2, because it bugs out and goes to that other book, or that other page. So, let's just read this one. I mentioned that the intervention by Gray bore no fruit, because he seemed to excuse any and all evidence I had against Mendez. Oh, okay, so about Mendez killing the... yeah. Gray assured me that his characteristic, in his characteristic insensitive tone that it was all under control even before I told him what was actually going on. I was chilled to the bone and refused to admit Gray into my home after he mentioned that. Oh, after he mentioned that, the murders were highly unfortunate. Before I ever realized myself there were murders going on in Mendez's home. Luckily, he took with him my collection of evidence to bring to the law offices of the colony, which were out of my reach. He also told me that Mendez would be fined a large sum of money for breaking into the Soyuz family home, which he admitted to, though he claims full innocence about their disappearance. Gray insists, as well, he had an alibi at the time that he was visiting him personally in the colony. I noted this myself because that whole 
day, a strange assistant with glasses was stalking around his residence in his absence, dragging the excess of potato sacks into the cellar or to the barn while mumbling to himself. Potato sacks, huh? <laughs> okay, so bodies, maybe? I don't know. But sadly, after speaking with Alan Marsh a few hours ago, I realized that Gray has no intentions of bringing the evidence to the law offices. Instead, he will most likely burn them, ending forever any legal hope of detaining Mendez. And so I must take this investigation into my own hands. I do not blame Gray for quelling drama in his beloved colony, and I doubt he has any personal affair in this occult madness which I have discovered, and you too will soon learn about. I have sent my family to safety with Marsh far away from here, and Gordon and myself plan to raid Mendez's home and confront him about his madness. So he's that second page was pretty important to sound like, but oh well. Let's try to go to page four. All right, good. Mendez managed to kill Gordon. <laughs> oh, that's nice. You're. I assume he was your partner or your friend or something. I don't know. Mendez managed to kill Gordon in our confrontation, but I turned the tides of the skirmish when I managed to stab him in the arm. He retreated to the woods, I suspect toward the barn or ruins. I don't know what to do. I am wounded in my gut and can't feel much. This is my last journal entry, and the documentation you have been waiting for you, reader, will piece together the physical facts lying around Hamlet. All this reading makes me yawn. I don't know why. Uh, I guess I'm not getting a fair. Anyways. Interpret this as you will. Condemn my investigation or lionize Mendez. Or agree. I do not care. This is merely what I have discovered. I wish I knew what it was you discovered exactly. Obviously you think he's murdered people, but I, didn't, I don't know what you found because page two is broken. <sighs> The local disappearances of the Soya family and many other individuals have been his doing. He captures them in the evening, then murders them and puts their limbs into the potato sacks. How do I know? I opened one, and I saw Adam's head, without eyes. Hmm. I do not know where the shrine goes, but I suspect what lies in the barn is more horrible than anything we can imagine. I have hastily scrolled my evidence logs and put the volume on the hunting platform in the nearby alcove. Hunting platform in an alcove, okay. I encourage you to go there next to see for yourself what you must do in order to uncover this mystery. God help you for this wound has ended my personal intervention here. The hunting platform will yield truth to you that may be too hard to grasp. Afterward, visit Mendez's home and try to uncover any diaries he himself may have kept. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, guys. Oh, man. All right. Upon that, I urge you to visit the cellar and see for yourself what may, ha may lie within. And finally, visit the barn. Reveal to the world whatever mysteries lies there and that old Jeb found and tried to brick away. A secret so horrible he ended his life because of it. Okay. So the hunting platform... And then Mendez is home. Where does Mendez live? I don't know. It might have been on page two. I, uh, the cellar. I assume the cellar is at Mendez's home. Or Gray's home. I'm confused about where this happened. I know it wasn't Gray that did it, but I think it had to be Mendez's home. Okay. Um, right. So I'm going to push two and see if it goes to page two. Duck house log. Nope. Okay, it broke. All right. Hunting platform in the foggy alcove is where I should go. Foggy Alco. Alright, now let me sit back. Okay. Hunting platform in a foggy alcove. Let's go back outside here. What? Uh, sorry, my dog. Get, get, get up there. I, c I can't hold you right now. I'm playing a game. There you go. Okay. Trying to figure stuff out here, dog. Alright. So, I don't know which house is his. <sighs> I guess we're going to all of them. I need to find a foggy alcove. Which, I don't even know what that means. Mm. Is there onions, I think? I don't know. I wish I could... Wait. Nope, can't pick up those. 
I want, I want to take the lamp with me. Hmm. Number three. Papers? Oh no, clipboards. Can't interact with clipboards for some reason. Hammer. Oh, there's a clock. It is 5.48. Was it? If it was, the hour hand would be closer to the six. That clock is broken. A lab? It is a lab. Ooh. I hope this isn't Mendez's house I just wandered into. I wasn't supposed to come here yet. Oh! <laughs> oh. Medical journal, Dr. Mendez. Okay, well, let's see if this one works. Okay. Gray spoke to me today, imploring me to end my research, which he now deems to be hostile. I'm already going to yawn. Wow, okay. I always took Gray for a fool. Meddling in affairs he does not understand as well as I... Pretending to be a magician when he is but a coward at heart. He says he spoke to Brexton on, on my behalf, claiming innocence for the murder of the Soya family. The Laos let it slip that they were murdered at all when Brexton was ignored. Was When Brexton was ignorant and has signaled affairs spiraled affairs out of control I can't read this it's so tiny all right the fool trails me every day to the ruins and barn though I suspect he has begun to question nothing but his mental health at the sights he has seen gray took all his evidence and mine as well so this will be the last documentation and final sum of my beautiful work which has been orchestrated over the past three days I first discovered without a shadow of a doubt that the ruins on the outskirts of town are active, predating the colony by thousands of years, and teleporting anyone in possession of a black Vienne badge back into time and space. Hmm. I have ventured two such occasions, going back into time and speaking with historical figures such as Caesar and much older figures whose names you would not recognize. What? Furthermore, when a vapor rises from the ruins beneath the shrine, the teleportation is not into the past, but into your memories. These are dangerous, as you can fail to distinguish what is reality and what is memory. Nonetheless, I was able to correct many failures in my life. Seeing their corrections in the present time is a rewarding feeling, to say the absolute least. So he fixed things in his past. Interesting. I fear to explain more of the shrine. I do not want to see, do not want some unseen presence to be aware that I know what the shrine's secret truly is. Gray knows, but he never has used it himself. I wonder what it is he would correct in his own past. Hmm. If discovered, my experiments on the Soya family would be deemed a crime against humanity. History is likely to frown on my murders anyway, which are guaranteed to go public thanks to Gray's foolish tongue. Sadly, my manuscript has been misplaced. I wish to find it, and if I were to find it, burn the pages and hide the truth of the, fa of the barn from the world. Oh, wait, this is page one. Let's please try page two. Please work. Yeah, okay. Braxton caught wind of his evidence being destroyed by discussing in detail his findings with the local portmaster, Alan Marsh. He will no doubt rally against me physically, perhaps even with Gordon. Yep. Okay. I need to hasten my final conclusive research, for by tonight I suspect the roof will be torn off my secret researches. 
I still cannot find that damnable manuscript either. It goes back years detailing the all the surgeries I have done. No one of thin nerves would ever be able to comprehend the documentation within those pages, nor of the esoteric uh, operations and experiments done on the volunteers who knew what was at stake. But I am not an evil man, though history may scorn me. What I have done is for the betterment of humankind. And then scratched out is, there is something at stake here that truly cannot be comprehended. So I scratched it out, so I guess it can be comprehended? I don't know. Brexton and Gordon are outside even now, whispering to one another about a freshly dug grave. And some potato sacks I forgot to hide. <laughs> so maybe that was what was on page two. They dug up... No, no, wait, that, that was before. Never mind. I pray they don't open one, or else I won't be able to visit the barn one last time. Something happened tonight in the cliffs. Okay, this is later, I think. Something happened tonight in the cliffs nearby with the hierarchy and council meeting with Edgar Gray at the, on the summit of Gull Cliff. I think that's where I was before with the chairs and all that. I think that was Gull Cliff. After the ceremony ended, an inhuman laughter erupted from the sea, <laughs> and a tremendous storm continued to crash down on us, unlike even any hurricane I have witnessed. Reports are coming from radio feed that some sort of attack has began has begun. Disgusting creatures adorned in ornate clothing wielding weapons have seized many fishing towns and villages, slithered up in yelping droves upon the shores, driving away all resistance. What has happened? I think it was Gray's ceremony that went bad. Evening of August 5th, 1935. Preston unwrapped a potato sack only to be greeted by the head of Adam. <laughs> I have, I've been found. I've been found. The pair assaulted me, though were no match for my abilities. I cut the throat of Gordon while he rushed me and managed to subdue Brexton with a sharp blow to the stomach with my knife. After hastily writing these last words, I will run to the shrine. No, not bother looking... No, not bother looking for my body. You will be wasting your time. Where it is I intend to go, no man my fo may follow. Brexton retreated into the woods. I suspect I'll need to track him down and finish him off before I open the last gate to venture to the other side. Hot to the other side. Well, there's a lot of typos in this one. I have given... Or, well... Yeah, anyways. I have given the creature enough sacrifices to give me the key. At last, my work is complete. It accepted what I had given it over the last 72 hours and granted me access to the splendors crossed out as within the void. And so ends my work and my journey at last. I have no intention to tell you what it is I have done, but rest assured it was for the better of the world. I have appeared, or I have appeased a very hungry entity and also gained for myself can't read the word, it's too dark. Tra oh, transcendence. I have, yeah, and gain for myself transcendence. Visit my cellar if you wish to understand, though I doubt you will. The only standing ovation to my career, the only recognition that I deserve, has been granted by that damned manuscript that I have never found. I suspect my assistant... I can't read the name... Darian must have hidden it from me. If you find it, I ask you to understand and read between the lines of the obvious. The Sawyer family, Brexton, Gordon, Abby, only Ed Edgar Gray understood why. Maybe you will too. So, he killed a bunch of people, sacrificed people, um, I guess all for the ability to travel back in time. And also maybe to help protect people, because he said he was doing it for the better, good, the the greater good, or something like that, right? So I don't know. The cellar is all that remains. No, I still need to go to the hunting alcove, and I don't know where the hunting alcove is, but I'll find it. Not going to the cellar yet. 
You can't make me. Alright. So I went there, and there, and then here. So, back here. Wait, maybe the hunting alcove was behind his house. 